you guys so welcome back i look like i'm all professional or something we went to church today and i got a little dressed up the bottom half of me though has sweatpants on because we're home already and as soon as i got home i put on my sweatpants um but i went downstairs to film what i got my kids for christmas and realized i didn't get them anything um i didn't buy them anything Santa, uh, I believe, has gotten them some stuff. I think they're getting one, well, they're each getting one large item from Santa. So uh, I neglected to get them something from me. I know how I've bought a ton of presents for other people. So I thought, well, let me wrap these and um, chat with you guys. You film a, a wrap, a wrapping video. <laughs> I can't wrap. I can wrap presents, barely. Um, I am not good at wrapping, but um, I'm gonna wrap these presents. Jack's downstairs with the kids, and uh, I'm up here by myself, so I'm gonna hang out with you guys. Let me get tape. <clears throat> ah! So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, I, I told Jack, I was like, I'm gonna go downstairs and film, and then I came back up. He's like, what happened? I'm like, um, I didn't get him <laughs> Am I a bad mom? Anyhow, I'm gonna wrap. Hopefully she's not watching, but I got my mom, I, I bought one of these for myself. It's a um, fruit set from uh, Eden's Garden, and I love it. And when my mom was staying here, because she had surgery, she was staying here for a little bit, um, I, was, I was gonna say burn, say burning, um, diffusing essential oils downstairs. And she loved the citrus scents, so I thought, oh, and. She got a diffuser, she bought one for my brother. And I was like, I don't think he's gonna like that. Like, I don't see my brother diffusing oils. So she goes, well, I'll just keep it for myself. So she was gonna keep it and I was like, ooh, light bulb. Um, so I got her some oils. I was actually gonna buy her a diffuser from Costco and they didn't have it when I went back to Costco. You gotta buy stuff when you see it at Costco or, or they might not have it when you go back. Um, but then she decided to keep that one she got my brother. So I was like, well, she doesn't really need one. Um, so I just got her some a little sit, set from Eden's Garden. So I think she's going to like that. So that's what I'm wrapping right now. How's your Sunday going? How Or how did your Sunday go? Because this, you guys, Sunday would have already passed. Are you guys, do you guys celebrate Christmas? Are you excited for Christmas? What do you guys do for Christmas? um we're supposed to have jack's family over christmas or the sunday before christmas next sunday um we usually have family supposed to come over sunday i'm gonna cook i think i'm gonna make lasagna because it's just easy but his dad's not feeling well so i don't know like how that's gonna work you guys i think i've shared with you guys like he has cancer and he's going through chemo and radiation right now so his appetite is gone he's really weak so i don't know we're thinking if he's not up for it maybe we'll just cook and then go over to their house um because he might not be up to like i mean he only they only live a block away but we're in san francisco so there's stairs he has to go down his stairs up our stairs so get in the car you know because even though it's just a block like it's too much for him to walk over here so i don't know that's what we're doing sunday and then um <clears throat> this is for his sister and her husband it's a wine set you guys probably saw it when i did my costco haul um christmas eve my entire family my side of the family we always get together at somebody's house and it's going to be at my uncle's house in san jose so but jack has to work i've been with jack for i want to say 10 years eight nine years i don't know something like that i'm horrible i keep in track of stuff like that and last year was the first year he went because he was actually off on christmas eve that it was on a sunday so he went it was at my other uncle's house in san jose and it was so fun because it was nice to have like him with us help with the kids and like i actually had a couple of drinks so because i didn't have to drive but this year he has to work so that's a bummer so i don't know christmas day usually i'm just here with the kids by myself because he's working my mom sometimes comes over she hasn't been because she's been going with her husband's family in sonoma sometimes my brother one of my brothers comes over christmas day it just depends like i don't know i like the holidays but i don't like the holidays because i don't know holidays are kind of depressing for me like a lot of loved ones 
I have lost around the holidays and I don't know, just brings back a lot of memories. But I mean, it's fun now, you know, with the kids, like they're excited with Santa and all that. They're at that age where they know and they know about Santa. So that's exciting. On Christmas day, I usually order Chinese food from our favorite place. It's good. So nothing too crazy. Um, so what do you guys do? Let me know. I need to start working out again and get back on the wagon because I have been slacking. I have was battling a migraine for a week. Today is the first day I actually feel normal. My head doesn't feel sore. So that has been nice because I don't know. You guys know I get Botox for migraines. I, get, I have migraine medication. I have muscle relaxers. And usually the Botox helps. But I was talking to Jack about it. I think because it's kind of a weird migraine I think because I've been eating unhealthy and eating like just crap to be honest and I think that kind of triggered this crazy migraine because I was doing really pretty good with the migraines maybe one a month as to before I was when I was getting before I got Botox I was getting like six five a week and this one migraine just like wouldn't go away nothing was helping so I think I'm trying like today I'm eating cleaner and watching what I eat um so and so far today's been fine so that's a thought and then also the weather the weather's been crazy and I've heard like sometimes like storms or like certain weather can trigger migraines or they're called um weather migraines I don't know is that a thing have you just heard of that so I just heard about that the other day and I was like I've never thought of that but it's been super cloudy this last week and rainy and it's been a different it's been a change in weather so I don't know maybe that has something to do with it but we're gonna start with the eating try and rule that out okay I think I'm talking too much because I need to start wrapping Jack got these at Daiso, I think last year or the year before. They're so cute. They're so easy. They're just, it's just a roll of different tags and I don't know. They're cute. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, so I have presents for Izzy's birthday party she's going to for the twins. I was going to wrap it in Christmas wrapping paper. I think the theme is Christmas this year, she said. Is that weird if I wrap it in Christmas paper? I mean, their birthday is, their birthday party is the day before Christmas Eve. Is this a different wrapping paper? Did I finish the other one? No, I didn't. Let's finish that one. All right. I usually wrap this stuff when the kids are asleep, but I'm like, I've been so tired lately. I just wanna like lay and watch TV when they go to sleep and not do anything which I'm sure won't happen. I'm kind of a, oh no, that's the end of that paper. Is this enough? Let's see. Oh yeah, barely. I'm probably wasting too much paper. <sighs> My mom is like such a good wrapper. She takes her time. She puts bows and it's so cute. I am lacking that jean. I am not crafty. I am not artsy. I'm not patient like that. Oh, you see? I'm just me. And you know what? Everybody likes their presents anyhow, right? But my mom does know how to make it look special. Honestly, I think wrapping paper is a waste. Because... You guys save it. I usually I don't save wrapping paper after I wrap presents or um, unwrapped a present, but I do save bags, tissue paper usually, um, because and bows of course, but because you can reuse them like it's a bag, right? 
the kids are gonna come up and be like, presents! <laughs> They're not for you though. Izzy has been non-stop asking about Elf on the Shelf. How do you get one? Why doesn't she have one? They have one in her class. Her friends have them. She has a fairy all year round. Matter of fact, she lives in there. Oops, can you guys see? She lives right there by Buddy's di uh, his little Dyson vacuum. She lives there all year round. All year round she's there. And sometimes the kids leave her like notes and stuff. And her name's Brianna, Brianna the fairy. She's so busy, sometimes she forgets to get the note or write back or, or send something. She forgets, she's a busy fairy and they get sad. So, I don't know. Maybe Santa will send us an elf on the shelf after Christmas, like when there's leftovers and there's clearance and Santa gets a good deal on one for next year. Cause, I don't know, elf on the shelf, like if, if we're gonna get elf on the shelf, he's gonna be creative. He's gonna be doing some stuff. I just know our elf on the shelf will be a little crazy like us. So, I don't think we're quite ready for that responsibility to take care of a crazy elf on the shelf. I don't know. Do you guys have elf on the shelf? You know, uh, Teresa from Cute Little Cupcakes Mom, I think she has a couple of them. And her elf gets into some stuff. He's a cute little elf. But, I don't know. I don't know how Brianna's gonna feel about that. She might be a little jealous of that elf. <laughs> Maybe she will bring an elf. Maybe she'll give us a, she'll send a little elf over, a nice elf. Jack, I don't know. What I put on that secret Santa? I don't even know if I'm supposed to put his name. What is? Okay, so his figure, his parents stuff. What did I do with my niece and nephew, my niece's gifts? I don't know where I put them, but I still have to go get my nephew's gifts. I think boys are so hard to shop for. and I want to get them clothes because I know they love clothes, but they're so hard to shop for. Like girls are so easy because it's like makeup, jewelry, but boys like... My nephew's a teenager and my other nephew's like, is he like 10, 8, 9, 10? And I don't know what to get them. <clears throat> like I want to get them something they love, but I don't know what they're going to love. Okay, I'm going to figure out, I need to figure out what to do with these. You guys saw Jack got his dad a nice jacket and his mom a like sweater jacket. I think I'll put one in here. See, this is a recycled bag. Kind of looks recycled too. Whatever, it works. Okay, let me stand up. See, I'm wearing my sweats, guys. I'm wearing my sweats. So life, I wasn't, I mean, come on. How many of you guys dress up to uh, wrap stuff? Nobody, right? I wear my pajamas. Cause we went to breakfast after church and boy did I eat too much. I ate way too much. So my pants were screaming. They were like, we can't. We're struggling here. They were struggling. This jacket is so nice that Jack got his dad. I like it. It's kind of heavy though. I hope it's not too heavy for him. That is for Cedo. Do you guys know what Cedo stands for? That means grandpa. In Arabic, Grandpa Tocito from Izzy and J3. Do you guys put like, I always put from my kids, like gifts, I always put from them. Because clearly, I mean we got it, but I don't know, I think it's nice. Tocito from Izzy and J3. Cute, Merry Christmas. All right, just a Christmas, not a Christmas bag. I don't want to have any bags. I don't have boxes. But someone gave this to me. Look, it says to Adri from my mom. <laughs> she probably thought, ah, Adri doesn't care that it's not a Christmas a bag. Is it a Christmas bag? It has shoes on it. It's a cute bag. See, look, it, there's a bow on it. I'm telling you, my mom. 
I don't even know if this will fit in there. Let's try it. I'm gonna take the bow. I don't think it'll fit. Okay, we're not gonna use that. I need to buy some bags. All right. So these are what I got at Costco for the twins. They're six years old from Izzy. It's a cross stitch. What is the price on here? Was the price on those clothes? I hope not. Oh, look at, don't you love when price tags come off so easy? Of course, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a video on, I have not got my refund from Jenny Craig. And uh, what's up with that? I'm gonna do a video on them because uh, I'm a little upset with them. I haven't got it. It's been, uh, I think it's been over a month now. Today's the, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been over a month. And then they started sending me text messages to go in. It's like, why are you sending me text messages? Like, I don't even know if it's them because, you know, you get all these, like, solicitors and, like, scammers. So, I don't know if that's them, but I thought it was random and odd that I would be getting text messages from, like, the Jenny Craig store. But, <clears throat> let me know if you guys have a New Year's resolution. I need to, mine is, I guess, so far is to start working out again. I haven't weighed myself in a while, but you know what? Weight is just a number. It matters if you feel good. And I and honestly, I haven't been feeling good, but I need to get back to working out. And I am. I am. But I need my family to get healthy and everyone just to get healthy and get taken care of. But like they say, you can't take care of anyone else if you're not taken care of or something like that. Something cute like that, but I don't know, guys. I'm just not the type of person to be like, oh, self-care, I need to take care of myself, like me first. I'm just not that person. And, and you should be, you should take care of yourself. Like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of old school, I guess I should say. But I get it, like I should be taking care of myself better. Because I can't take care of like other people the way I should be. Like I'm run down. I'm like really run down. But I don't know. That's just me. I feel kind of selfish if I'm if I'm like that. It's weird. Are you guys like that? Sorry guys. Like I'm not in frame or anything. Like I'm still talking, but I'm just wrapping this present. You can't. Um, like, you guys can't even see. All you see is like my stomach. You can't even see the present. Oh my god. Why didn't you guys tell me? You're not seeing my head, you're seeing my stomach. Jeez. Not even seeing the present. I thought you guys could at least see the present. <laughs> oh Lord help me. See what I mean? Okay, so that's it for now because I need to buy some bags. And um, I guess I should have checked that before I started wrapping. I need to get some bags and stuff. So that's all I'm gonna do now. My little fit, my little wrap with me chit chat video. I guess we're gonna call it since I didn't get my kids crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy like hanging out with me for a few. Um, I don't know how long has it been. Twenty minutes. Oh, geez. I'm gonna have to trim that down. Okay, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are doing well, and I love to hear from you guys in the comments as usual. Peace.